and welcome everyone to your episode of the Road to Glory and today we are doing Cavani's 300 milestone of him uh, getting uh, 300 goals. Um, also if you enjoyed today's video please do smash the like button, helps the channel a lot and subscribe if you're new also on top of that for daily FIFA content and also uh, if you're watching this video by this time you probably you love packing man and match with packing inform all that kind of good stuff and there is Cavani he's actually have to you know, if I put a hunter on him he is 89 he is 89 shot and 81 pace so that's pretty good but I can use him if they are doing league and um squad builder no for excuse me um if they do a league and squad builder for um what do you call it for champ Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> also, I want to show you this. So I got 152k for an 84 in form. Absolute ball and unbelievable. Love it. Right. And we've got these packs to open. Right. But I'm gonna go in and show you my monthly, my not monthly rewards. Uh, weekend league rewards. I only only played a certain amount of games. The reason why I was I got my monthly and I just stopped playing. I didn't need to play anymore. Know what I mean? So that's the way I looked at it. And uh, pretty much, let's go into these packs and hopefully we can pack a man in the match. Hopefully, that is what I'm hoping for. Uh, no walkout and no inform ever. Right, class. Thanks, FIFA. You're right. good job. Good job. Uh. Let's see, keep all them and the rest get rid of. Uh, give me a um, wee 500 coins, I'll take them. And uh, let's see what we'll get from these. Jumbo pack, let's see, come on. I thought it was easing, I thought it was, you know, teasing me there, maybe going to give me a good player. An 82 rated card, not bad from a free pack. Uh, let's see, just keep all them. Fitness cards, rest is discard. Mm -hmm. Right, come on, give me something good. No, okay. At least I get a rare. Chicolito is upgraded card as well. Ooh, that's a decent card. Hmm, it may be worth something. Excellent. I love them because symbols they're worth coins. Uh, right, come on. The biggest one. Can you give me something good? No, you can't. Jesus Christ. These rewards are brutal, actually. Oh, he's half decent, like, but I think I've packed him and all, so I don't really need to pack him again. Uh, let's see. Fitness cards. Give me that, give me that, give me the anchor as well. Uh, he might be worth something, so I'll put him on the bench. The thing. That's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much I ended up with, I think, 70 something wins. I'll actually show you uh, how I ended up in Foot Champions uh, leaderboard. I'm officially qualified, so I played 24 games and won 12, so 50 50 that was. And then monthly I played 140 and won 73. Not great, but not bad at the same time compared to the previous month. Let's go to the previous month. Compared to that month, it's a lot better, you know what I mean? So can't really complain there. Uh, pretty much next is, we've done the SBCs and we've also done the uh, rewards. So pretty much next we are into this, which is uh, Division 1. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do, I really don't. I don't know if I'm going to win Division 1, how I'm going to favour it in Division 1. I just don't know how to take it in any way, shape or form really. Uh, oh, that's who I wanted to put, in, put on anyway. Um, him, because I wanted to try him out in Division 1. He's 87 pace. That's actually a half decent man on the match card, but to be fair. So, uh, we'll see how we do in Division 1. If you enjoyed today's content, please don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below also. And let's get into the gameplay and hopefully I can pick up a couple of wins. And well guys, Crip here and if you made it this far, thank you very much, much really appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's content, please do smash that like button. This guy had a great team, but the main player in his team that annoyed me was Partit. Um, he had three red players as well, so obviously he was a decent player, he was a decent player. But it wasn't about his attack, even though you'll notice at the end of the game here, that was the, even though he had eight shots and refused me from, having, excuse me, 
one shot, one on target. What really annoyed me is because how good at defending he was. That's what was really annoying. Now this guy, he had Thiago, he had two man of the matches, an SBC, two informs. It was an unreal team he had. That Marco Royce really did cause me problems. But that Thiago, I actually noticed that. And after that game, I checked on how much Thiago actually was. And Thiago actually was 120k, 130k at that point. And then he went up to 180 today. But anyway, so uh, even though he gave me that chance, I had to create it myself. And then this chance was pretty nice. It was a nice pass and move. Now, the way I like to play, really, it was a nice one too. Thought about bringing his keeper, decided not to. Then Kevin De Bruyne just does what Kevin De Bruyne does. And as you can see, most of the players are actually outscoring me in the way they shoot more shots, more attempts. But I'm actually winning because I'm more clinical. This guy had respect for him, full Chelsea team, pretty nice. Took me a long time to actually, um, you know, break him down. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of low passes. I'm trying to create play, um, create space, you see, because when you're doing a uh, possession football in this game, I've noticed you have to sometimes lob it over to the other side because you need to create space. This guy was pretty good now. He was really good defensively in the first half, but in the second half, I got it through to Aguero, and Aguero does what Aguero does, and he friggin' just finishes it in the back of the net. Now, this next goal was a thing of genius from Jelovenko. It This goal actually represents on whether you should get Jelovenko's SBC or not. To be fair, he just lobbed him. Genius. Messi did that, you know, everyone be talking about it, you know what I mean? So this goal was, I think he just, he, he, this was the second time he actually brought his keeper out, but this time I got it to an open net, and he just pretty much gave up, you know what I mean? Outplayed him as well. But guys, what can I say? Four wins, one draw, two losses. Let's get into the outro. What can I say? I'm playing really, really well in Division 1. What can I say? I played on real and then last three games, uh, uh, since... What can I say? I, I played very well. Um, even though I got beat in the first game, I still thought I played very well. I just couldn't break the guy's defense down. Like he was really good. His well caught was absolutely raping me, in my opinion. But if you enjoyed today's content, please do smash the like button and comment down below. If I did help you in any way, let me know in the comments. I find that pretty helpful. So I've got three games to actually stay in the division. I just need one draw. So only for that one loss, I could actually be going on towards maybe winning the title. But sure, staying in Division 1 is good because that means I am officially a D1 player. But I'm hopefully... Hopefully I can stay in the division in the next episode, so that will be good. And then also on top of that, um, I've done some investments also that I want to show you. So I've bought a man of the match Belgian player. I've bought two informs that are Belgian players. I've bought a one to watch Belgian player. I really do think uh, he's gonna get uh, you know. Uh, uh, I do think Lukaku's going to get the the uh, player of the month card, so this is my some just some investment. I did buy um, De Bruyne. I bought him from a main team anyway, so I will actually show you my main team. Uh, where is it? Uh, do, 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 do. So this is the formation that I'm cracking out now, and it's unreal. It only works if you have a really good defensive but offensive player. Right, but also in cams, I find they need to have medium defensive work rates. Because uh, the person that I was talking to, Ryan, he actually asked me and Michael, their two brothers, they actually asked me about my cams because they thought the it wouldn't work. But it does work if you have medium defensive work rates on both cams. So that actually does work, right? And then if you set where your right uh, left mid and uh, left mid and right mid actually stay back, then um, not stay back but come back and you set him to stay back but mark I find marking is better than cutting passes out I find so yeah I just feel this this formation really does suit me probably the next big player I want to bring into this side is maybe Rudy Costa I'll actually show you the the targets that I actually want. players that I want to sign if you know what I mean and also uh, so I was thinking PK and then I'm also thinking, but if I sign PK, then I won't get good enough links to um, Kante, so it would have to be a legend probably. Was thinking this, I, 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 you might think to most, I mean, a lot of percentage of people, that's a lot of 
uh, coins but if you have been playing it from the start you should have roughly enough coins to buy the SIE so the SIE is sitting at 659,000 at the minute and then this man he's just look at his card he's a hundred times better than Root Hullet like I've used him and I've, uh, if you're watching this video by now I have used Root Hullet in Foot Draft and he is pretty good but Matthias I, I really want to try him out and just see what he's like if you know what I mean I know he's 1.35 millions worth, but at the same time, I would like to try him out. And then, as you can see at the start of the video, uh, I did get um, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Special cards. I did get this card. So, if there is ever a league in uh, special requirements, I can have him and like his up front, and then build a squad around them. You know what I mean? So, uh, I've definitely got my strikers, you know, set and all. And then if I need to, I can change them to calm in the in the formation that I use. So it's pretty good. Um, also on top of that, uh, Serie A. These are the no. Okay, just go to any. These are the players I have in Serie A. Uh, these are the players I have in Bundesliga. And then these are just a wee mini club tour I'm doing here I'm just showing you and don't forget guys we do have the monthly rewards which I did get gold so I have a possibility of getting that 88 Lukaku um, there's a lot of great cards I have a possibility of getting these are all my special cards that I have uh, Kante I bought him for 362k at the weekend he's up to 390k at the minute he's jumping between 390 to 380 so that's pretty good Bought him for 84k, so that's not too bad. Um, bought him actually, that's actually pretty not too bad because if Lukaku does come out, he will go up to near 50k because he's one of the cheapest Belgium. Um, he is actually the cheapest Belgium uh, in form on the market at uh, 30 37k, so that's pretty good. I bought him because maybe he has scored in a half decent amount of goals this this year but also on top of that he might maybe get an inform and if he does then I'll just uh, I'll get my profit back you know what I mean now if Suarez then Hazard is actually near a thousand goals a uh, thousand games as well for me which is actually insanely good not scoring as much now because I'm playing him out in the wing but anyway sure he's still providing to the team so that's the main thing Jill go like did you see his lob that's a Division 1 player. He actually texted me after the game and said, how in the blue hell did you do that? But also on top of that, and he, he said that Ramos just bums everything off, if you know what I mean, as in saying Ramos just stops everyone. And he does, that's why I paid all the coins for him, I think. How much did I pay for Ramos? I think it's 940k or something, isn't it? Yeah, 945 uh, which is amazing, but at the same time, I'm probably not going to get rid of him either. He's the best defender I've used in the game, so I'm not going to get rid of him either. I use Rio, and I don't like him. I don't like Rio Ferdinand. He doesn't suit my style of play. He really doesn't. Uh, I did do it, just i done it because um, I opened packs and I had the players there, so I just thought I'll, I'll do it anyway, but no, he doesn't suit my style of play. Now, I bought him because he's 20k, right? But on top of that, what if they just throw a grenade into the into the mix and just say uh, you'll need a man of the match Belgian player for uh, Lukaku? It is between Lukaku and Harry Kane. Even though if Harry Kane gets it, I still have some investment anyway for Harry Kane. Uh, bought some Everton players as well. Let's see, we'll go. I'm just selling some contracts at the minute. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So these are all the the players that are bought. So I bought. I actually bought Coleman because he's Irish and the uh, you know the St Paddy's Day is coming up. So I bought these ones because they're from Everton, but they're English as well. So if mm. if he does come up, then yeah, I will. And I bought him because he's pretty good anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, they're English players as well, but they're playing for Everton. So I still kill two stone. Um, I still. Uh, killed two birds with one stone, you know what I mean? So that's pretty good. So uh, hopefully I make a wee bit of profit on there, you know what I mean? But anyway, on top of that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. What can I say? And also, I only got silver one is because um, Xbox was down, Xbox Live was down on Friday, so I can play all my games that I wanted to. So by the time Sunday came, I was actually burnt out. So I only played, 
it was 29 games, 15 wins, so that's what I played. And uh, so that's still a positive record, I lost 14, and but I've switched to this new formation, I, I'm liking this new formation, I'm, I'm enjoying playing it because as you can see I have, uh, I'm playing better uh, because the last two games that I played in Division 1, I actually used this formation, so I, I feel that I am playing playing better, you know what I mean? And on top of that, if you enjoyed today's content, please do smash the like button, it helps the channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new also, and comment down below on how you done it for champions, are you qualified for this week? And also on top of that, are you aiming for regionals? Is there anyone on my channel that is aiming for regionals, that is good enough for aiming for regionals or not? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching and crap out.